Teorana, and warm Pacific greetings. First, I'm honored to be here with you all today to share my thoughts on working together to build resilient leadership in our blue Pacific. Indeed, I do believe that any opportunity to address you, our leaders of tomorrow, is an opportunity that we, the older generation, must always seize. Your meeting, and indeed the theme you have chosen, comes at a valuable time in our region's history. We currently face a three-pronged crisis. The crippling impact of COVID-19, the devastating effects of climate change and disasters, and the fragile economic well-being of our region. Together, these have exposed the vulnerabilities that exist in our region. The theme of your meeting today on resilient leadership relays a strong message for us all. Resilient leadership is especially important now as we start rebuilding our lives from the impacts of this pandemic in a context very different to what we knew. Earlier this month, the Forum Economic Ministers convened for their annual meeting around a similar theme, building resilient Pacific economies post-COVID-19. And I'm excited to see this common thread frame our regional thinking, conversation, and future planning. As we rebuild and continue to navigate the impacts of climate change and this current crisis on our lives and our island homes. It is important to have strong leadership that gives hope with a vision that learns from the past and builds on improving the present. Let me assure you of the ongoing commitment of our forum leaders to build strong regional action, harnessing shared stewardship of the Pacific Ocean and acting as one blue Pacific continent for the future. To realize this commitment, our leaders have agreed to develop a 2050 strategy for the blue Pacific continent in order to protect people, places, and prospects of our blue Pacific. The 2050 strategy will bring the Pacific together and work towards achieving long-term vision for our region. Ultimately, this is about securing a bright and prosperous future for all Pacific people. I know many of our students and teachers at USP participated in the regional consultations on the development of the 2050 strategy. And I thank you for taking the time to make your voices heard about the future that you want to see, given that you will inherit the impacts and outcomes of the strategy. While we in the Pacific do face unique vulnerabilities, we also have great strengths in our diverse culture and traditions, our ozone resources, natural environment, and our shared history. For our region, collective action and collective advocacy will always be integral to our development aspirations. We will always support each other in propelling ourselves forward. When I think about resilient leadership in this context, to me, it's about making impactful change, challenging the status quo to improve our current circumstance, listening and being the voice for those whose voices are not heard. It is strength and vision, not just for yourself, but for those that you serve. Indeed, this is key. I would like to challenge us to action the commitments made by our leaders for a more inclusive, just, and equal future. To create an environment in our blue Pacific that is transformational, nurtures diversity, recognizes social inclusion, and creates an environment for everyone including Pacific, to also have a voice and to be heard. We live in a global environment that is constantly changing. The responsibility is on each of us 
to continue to work collectively and ensure that in the remaining years to 2030 and 2050, we are resilient leaders that will make transformational change and build a blue Pacific continent that can withstand any future shocks that may come our way. As future leaders of our blue Pacific, I urge you to continue to encourage, empower, and inspire each other and future generations to build a blue Pacific continent that is strong, proud, inclusive, and resilient. Continue to do tear down barriers that impede our fight for a more equal blue Pacific continent and global community. Metakimata, Vinaka Vokalibu, and I thank you.